Hey guys, Wet Movie one back here again with another Blu-ray DVD update video for you guys today. My mom should be popping in a little bit later on with her guest reviews today, so if you guys like our review videos, give them a thumbs up and say more review videos with mama in the comments. And uh, first up is from Cinedime, and that is the complete series of uh, the Inspector Gadget here, the Mega Set. It's, it, is, it doesn't say the complete series on here, but it's actually the complete... Uh, cartoon series from the 80s which only lasted uh, two seasons. Um, this is one of those shows that I, I always remember watching as a kid and even now as a you know as a semi-adult or whatever I'm an adult but I have a mind of a child I always remember the theme song uh, to the show the most out of anything you know what I mean? <laughs> you know like that's one of those things that always kinda like you know rums around in my brain a little bit but if you guys don't know Inspector Gadget, it's about this guy named Gadget. He's a detective. He has this daughter named Penny and this uh, hel helpful dog named Brain to help him on uh, his quest to get evil Dr. Claw. And uh, he has these special powers to go, 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 Gadget, you know, legs. And he can, like, shoot up out of the, you know, make, make himself super taller, make his arms go out really far to, to get things that he needs. But yet he's a dope, he's kind of clumsy, and uh, it's just always one of those really fun, like, uh, cartoon shows to, to revisit every once in a while. You, you watch it, it's, it's a little bit, it's a little bit dated, but it's still fun, it brings back a lot of memories uh, from when I was young. And uh, Gadget is actually voiced here uh, by Get Smart's Don Adams on here, which I, I didn't know until I was watching this, because when I was a kid, you don't really know things like that. And I found that to be really cool. And you get all 86 episodes. If you guys are a fan of the show, definitely pick up this set. You can also get them individually uh, online, the different, you know, volumes and stuff together, or you can just get them in one big set here. But uh, that's Inspector Gadget, the mega set. Alright guys, next up from Scream Factory, we have Body Bags here on Blu-ray DVD Combo Pack here, the Collector's Edition. Uh, this is a, a horror anthology film that came out back in 1993 that was directed by John Carpenter and Toby Hooper. And uh, in, in this film, uh, John Carpenter plays a mortician and uh, he's, he's the wraparound story. Uh, in this film here, and every time you see him, he introduce he sees a dead body on a counter, and then you find out how that body got there and why it you know like how it died and everything like that by going into a, one of the short stories. And I found it to be a really enjoyable film. I've seen this one years and years ago. I always really kind of liked it. It's never been one of my favorite anthologies ever or anything like that. I always loved like Creep Show and Creep Show Two. Those have always been my favorites. Uh, this one's just a lot, a lot of fun because you get a lot of cameos in there, a lot of good cheese moments, and you get Mark Hamill in there from Star Wars. You also get Wes Craven in there playing a, a creepy person at a gas station, and uh, you get like a whole bunch of really cool horror cameos uh, in this movie, which was the most exciting thing about about this movie. You even get the Toby Hooper, Tom, Tom Arnold in there playing quick little cameos. It's just really, really cool to see everyone from like the horror world and you know just a lot of celebrity cameos. It was just really enjoyable. And uh, in the first short here, it's about this lady that gets a job at a gas station and it's her, it's her first night on the job and just the creepy stuff that's happening to her at the gas station. I don't want to give it away because it's only about like 20 minutes long. And it's just, it's, just, it's just really cool, starring Robert Carradine, who you guys all know from Revenge of the Nerds fame. And uh, the second one uh, is stars, that was a guy's name, Stacy Keach. And uh, he's uh, an older man going through a midlife crisis. He's losing his hair, and he has this obsession of wanting the, you know, a, a full head of hair. And it's the, the, the whole story revolves around him and his, him losing his hair and what he's going to do to try to get some hair. And the, the third one is about a guy that gets a, surgical, you know, gets a surgical procedure done to his eye and he has a different person's eye in his head. One eye is his, one eye is some, somebody else's and the craziness that happens from there. But on this Blu-ray here, you get some interviews with John Carpenter and some of the uh, of the cast members of this. Uh, I believe it's like Robert Carradine and Stacey Keach and things like that uh, on here. You also get commentary tracks by John Carpenter and Robert Carradine and a bunch of the a bunch of the cast members. Really, really uh, cool stuff on here. Even a trailer uh, on this Blu-ray here. Definitely check this one out if you guys are horror fans. Really, really highly recommend it. Alright guys, next up is Night of the Comet here, the collector's edition here on Blu-ray DVD combo pack. If you guys don't know anything about Night of the Comet, it's the ultimate 80's cheese fest. 
I absolutely love this film ever since I was a kid. And uh, especially if you guys have bought the DVD release that MGM put out a few years ago, that, that release didn't have any special features whatsoever, not even a trailer. But on this Blu-ray here, you get uh, cast interviews uh, from Carrie Maroney and uh, Mary Stewart, Catherine Mary Stewart, uh, on here talking about their experience on the film and how it, this film has always been one of their favorites they have ever done. But uh, if you guys don't know what this movie's about, it's about this comet that's, a, that's about to pass the Earth, and everyone on Earth is celebrating uh, this comet passing by by having these parties on the streets just to watch the comet, you know, pass the Earth. During this time, uh, Reggie and Samantha are like in their house, and Reggie's at this movie theater with her boyfriend. But then, ne the next morning after the comet passes, they go out to find out that everyone's turned to dust. All, that, all you can see on the, on the streets and everywhere is clothes. And they're trying to figure out what happened to everybody. Where did everybody go? And it's pretty much, you know, these two girls uh, trying to survive the apocalypse that just happened to them. And, you know, wandering to Earth trying to figure out what's going on. And then they, you know, they bump across uh, a couple of zombies along the way. It's just a really ultimate uh, 80s cheese fest. I absolutely have always loved this film. You even get a, an amazing scene with the two girls going into a, a department store in a mall and then like, you know, having this little musical montage while they're trying on, you know, clothes and listening to Cyndi Lauper music. It was just one of those like movies that you, when you watch, you never forget and it always def defines the 80s for me when it comes to movie, when it comes to movies. But uh, you also get the theatrical trailer on here, and you also get an interview on here by the makeup supervisor. Uh, what was his name again? Makeup supervisor Bill D. Miller. And uh, the movie he did before he made this one was Nightmare on Elm Street. And even one of the zombie people that you see in this film kind of sort of looks like Freddy. Like he just took Freddy's face and threw it on another zombie guy's face in this film. I, di I didn't really put two and two together when I was watching, it, watching those movies back in the day. But now I'm like, oh, that looks like Freddy a little bit. A little bit. But uh, definitely check out this Blu-ray if you guys are a fan of this movie. A definite upgrade uh, from the previous MGM DVD that came out years ago. Absolutely love this movie. And uh, next up over here from Time Life is uh, the Dean Martin, the complete collection of all his, uh, all 54 celebrity roasts that uh, Dean Martin has done. Because um, you guys all know I love stand-up comedy. And uh, this one has like the celebrity roast of... Uh, what was it called? Betty White, Lucy Ball, Mr. T. Come on, man. Who doesn't want to see Mr. T get roasted by, like, Gary Coleman and stuff? You know, that was, like, hilarious on this. Uh, if you guys love, you know, Comedy Central roast, this is the kind of set you should really get, you know, get your hands on. Um, it comes with a lot of bonus material in here. You get a bonus disc of the very best of the Dean Martin Variety Show uh, in this set. You also get, a, you also get two discs of uh, special features on here with interviews with a, a lot of the celebrities and a documentary about the uh, the history of the Dean Martin celebrity roast and how it started from the, the, the New York Friars Club which which was a lot more raunchy than they can actually put on TV but that's where Dean Martin got the idea to do the celebrity roast and you get like, a, like I said a cool little making of the show on here for you guys who don't know the Dean Martin show uh, his variety show lasted for nine years and on, in its ninth year, it was kind of struggling in the ratings. You know, the variety shows were, go, you know, kind of on the slide out. Like, no one was really watching them anymore. So, he, he decided to do half variety show, half celebrity roast. And when, he, when Dean Martin did that, the ratings got boosted up. So, he decided to do, do it full time, do the celebrity roast as, as a series. And he did. And he, the Dean Martin Celebrity Roasts last, lasted for another nine seasons by itself. And that's one of the other things you learn when you uh, watch some of the special features that are on here. And I thought that was kind of cool that it lasted for nine years. But you get all 54 uh, c Celebrity Roasts on here. Very, very funny stuff. So like I said in my last one, some of it's kind of dated, but some of it's really funny. Like seeing Gary Coleman ripping into Mr. T, you know, like acting like him and stuff. It was really kind of funny. But definitely check out this set at timelife.com if you guys are into celebrity roast. Very, very good set here. All right, guys, next up from Universal is R.I.P.D., the Rest in Peace Department here on Blu-ray. Uh, this film's pretty much about Ryan Reynolds. He's a, a cop that gets killed right at the beginning of the film, and then he gets transported to the other world, and in the other world, they want him to work 
for the rest in peace department and the rest of the film is him trying to find the person that killed him but in the meantime it, turn, it turns into like a buddy cop film with him being paired with Jeff Bridges or the dude from the Big Lebowski going on this hunt to get the, the undead people off the streets because uh, in this film uh, the people that work at the RIPD department are the people that are trying to get the people that actually died on earth but didn't want to go to heaven or hell they just kind of stayed on earth and uh, there's this department of people that are trying to get these monsters uh, you know off the street because they try you know a lot of the people uh, that died uh, you know you can see them in human form but then you know they have these you know monster looking forms that they can take too kind of like you know men in black a little bit he, he teams up with Jeff Bridges you know Jeff Bridges is like the the old guy on the on the force and of course you know Ryan Reynolds is the rookie I like the little banter between the two uh, but it just really kind of felt like like a men in black kind of a film you know it, it wasn't it wasn't like um you know, a, a big, you know, big, big blockbuster or anything like that. But, you know, it, it had its charm. And I thought it was kind of cool that uh, since Ryan Reynolds and uh, Jeff Bridges, when they're on, on Earth, you know, as uh, themselves, they're not seen as Ryan Reynolds and Jeff Bridges. They're seen as like a, an, an old Chinese man and a hot blonde chick. You know, I thought that was kind of a really cool element to the film on here. Also on this Blu-ray disc here, you get two alternate openings to the film. Uh, the Making of, and uh, this actually was based on a, a graphic novel, which I, I've never read. But it was just kind of cool that it was based on that, because when I, was, when I first watched this, I thought it was kind of like a rip-off of Men in Black. But still, still, still really enjoyable. If you guys see this movie out there, definitely give this one a rental. Re really, It's really worth a watch. Alright guys, next up is Dead End Tombstone starring Danny Trejo, Anthony Michael Hall, and uh, Mickey Rourke. And in this film, uh, Danny Trejo is the leader of this group of bandits that are going around, you know, committing these crimes. You know, they're wanted by the law. But one of the members of the gang uh, knows about this one small town that has this pile of gold in there. And they, they make this plan to go in there and steal this gold. But in the meantime... There's some double crossing that go, that's going on, and something happens to Danny Trejo, and, and then the rest of the movie is pretty much Danny Trejo, you know, coming back for revenge, uh, you know, for what happened to him. And it was just a really kind of, a, uh, you know, a, a fun film. If you guys get a chance to see it, it, it was really kind of cool. And, you know, it's, it's a total western, but with Danny Trejo in the mix. You know what I mean? Like, hey, I'm gonna get you. You know, it's just it, Danny Trejo is really cool in pretty much anything he does. Because when I was watching this movie, I thought he was going to die within like the first like five minutes. Because like anytime you see him like plastered on the front of the boxes of a lot of movies these days, he's usually just in it for like five or six minutes and then he's gone. But he's actually, you know, in it throughout the, throughout the movie and I thought that was cool. But if you guys get a chance to see Dead End Tombstone, definitely check this one out. Uh, on this Blu-ray here, uh, you get some deleted scenes and making of and some commentary on here. Very worth, worth watching if you guys are into westerns. It's nothing like, you know... Um, like Fistful of Dollars or, you know, Good, Bad, and the Ugly or anything like that. But, you know, it's, it's, a, it's just a super fun action flick about revenge. You know, it's, it's, it's just really cool. Dead in Tombstone. Alright, guys, next up from Disney is Cars, the Ultimate Collector's Edition here on Blu-ray. Uh, this is actually the 3D regular Blu-ray and DVD digital copy combo pack here. And uh, you guys all know Cars about this... A uh, race car named Lightning McQueen. He thinks he's like the the hottest, coolest race car ever. Until one day, he's being transported to one of his races, and he gets lost in the small town. And he's racing through it, and gets he gets arrested from one of the one of the cars of the small town. And he has to help, you know, fix the road that he ruined as he was speeding through his through through their little town. And it's pretty much him uh, meeting these these small town folk and kind of becoming friends with them and trying to learn what life is really about. Life is not about winning championships and being the best at everything. You know, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sweet little movie. And I, I, I always kind of liked it. It's, it's never been my absolute favorite Pixar film of all time or anything like that. But I always, I always really kind of loved it. And on this Blu-ray set here, you get pretty much all the same special features you had on all previous editions of the film. Pretty much the only real new thing on here is that you can watch it in 3D. And it really does bring some depth 
uh, to the picture here. But always Pixar films on Blu-ray always look really, really good. So if you guys ever get a chance to see a Pixar film in 3D Blu-ray, I highly recommend it. But that's Cars here on Blu-ray. Alright guys, next up is Monsters University here on Blu-ray. This is the prequel to Monsters, Inc. And in this film you get Mike and Sully uh, going to college or you know to, to a university and how they finally met each other. And you get the backstory about how Mike Wazowski, uh, you know, the little green guy, always wanted to be a scarer his whole life, ever since he was a little kid. So he has this dream to go to, the, to Monsters U. So he goes there. People don't think he's really scary enough to be in the scare program. He meets uh, Sully, you know, played by John Goodman in the class. They're not really friends yet. They pretty much do something, get themselves kicked out of their scare program and the only way they can get back into the scare program in this university is to go through these scare games. Um, I found this movie to be really kind of entertaining. It doesn't have the same charm as the you know the, the first one at all because because in this one you already know that the monsters are there to scare people to get energy to power their town and stuff like that and when you watch the first one you're like oh that's kind of cool but it, it's still cool to watch and see how Mike and Sully met each other in college and how they became lifelong friends um, it looks very nice on blu-ray it wasn't a mind-blowing story or anything but I still got a lot of enjoyment out of it because I really like the characters of Mike and Sully and uh, on this blu-ray here you get a lot of special features on this and one of the special features on this blu ray here that I really liked is called campus life uh, where they take you a day in the life of the people that work at Pixar that were working on this film at the time and just showing you their daily life and how they you know they take their breaks they eat lunch they go and animate a character or two go take a break you know go to a, a go to a meeting and show a scene that they animated that day and the director talks about what he likes about it what he didn't like about it what could be changed and things like that thought that was amazing you get a lot of behind the scenes you know making of featurettes on here really really uh, in-depth um, making of kind of things and I, I really did enjoy it, it is really worth watching I really did like this one excuse me Brendan Brendan can it be my turn right now <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm just coming by real quick to tell you about a movie I saw this week. I thought it was so funny. It's called I Give It a Year. And uh, it stars Anna Farah, Simon Baker, Minnie Driver, Stephen Merchant, and a cast of really great uh, character actors. Uh, it's a romantic comedy, as you can tell, because of, of the brightness of the box and everything. And it's really not your standard one in a sense that there's, you know twists and turns and stuff like that but I'm sorry the first one of the first scenes in the movie I swear it could almost steal the whole show I swear and as a character actor you've seen before he's playing a, a priest or a reverend at the wedding ceremony and I'm sorry I thought I was gonna die the guy is so funny I'm sorry when you're given a bit and you try to think of clever things to do this guy is uh, is too funny, and to have Stephen Merchant just standing there, who's an epitome of comic talent, just standing there watching you do your thing. You're just a minor character, but to have Merchant there reacting to what you're doing is just incredible. And of course, Stephen Merchant on his own, you guys know him. He mainly partners up with Ricky Gervais and that kind of stuff. Funny, funny, and I'm t I'm almost almost positive. Every scene he was in, he was told where it needed to start and how it needed to end, and then they just said, go with it, Stephen. You know, because I'm, I'm not kidding you. You see some of the outtakes here, and the cast members can't even keep a straight face. But it was really great. Uh, Simon Baker, you guys might know from uh, his current show on TV, I believe it's called The Mentalist. Uh, Mini Driver and everybody else you pretty much know, and I'm really impressed. I know you guys probably are more impressed than I am. But I'm really impressed in this movie with Anna Ferris, mainly because I think the first time I ever saw her was in those scary movie spoofs or something. And I thought, oh gosh, what a dumb blonde or whatever. No, she's really, really very good. So if you want to check this out, especially after you've watched a horror movie like The Conjuring, you'll be able to go to sleep nice and tidy and have sweet dreams after you've seen this. It's very cute. Go ahead, Brendan. 
Alright guys, next up from Twilight Time is The Other here on Blu-ray. Uh, don't get this movie confused with The Others starring Nicole Kidman. This is The Other from 1972 directed by Robert Mulligan, the director from uh, To Kill a Mockingbird. And uh, in this film, uh, this film actually takes place on a small, small farm, the small family that lives on this farm. And it pretty much focuses on these two young boys, uh, twins, uh, Niles and Holland. And what, you know, their adventures that go on in, during this one summer on this farm. And how slowly bad things and creepy things are happening to the family on this farm. And uh, some of the twins are like seeing things, you know, in their minds that are not really there. And, then how, and how it affects other people in the family. It's just, it has one of those really creepy vibes. It kind of has that, fi that vibe of the omen. Uh, from like the 70s, a like, real slow burn kind of creepy horror film. Um, I found it to be really enjoyable. You also get uh, a cameo appearance in here. Well, a little bit bigger than a cameo uh, appearance in here by John Ritter uh, from Three's Company fame. And uh, you know him from like Bride of Chucky and stuff like that too. In here playing as one of the family members of the house. But towards the end of this movie, it, get, it gets... It really picks up and it really gets super creepy towards the end. And uh, if you guys love like movies like The Omen, like I said, definitely give this uh, movie a watch. It, it just it's just very well shot. The cinematography is just amazing. I believe the cinematographer they had in this on this film was the same person that shot the movie Ben Hur. And uh, it, it just looks really amazing. The picture quality on this is amazing. So is the audio. I've never seen this movie look any better than it does on this Blu-ray here. But on this Blu-ray, all you really get is a theatrical trailer. And you can watch the movie with its uh, theatrical score. You know, only without the dialogue and things like that. Which is a cool feature that um, Twilight Time puts on their Blu-rays. But if you have never seen it, definitely give this movie a watch. Check out the trailer here on YouTube. It's, it's just really creepy. Like, ch check it out. It's like, where is the baby? Yeah, like, you know, that's like what, goes, uh, like what goes on throughout the trailer. It's just really creepy. And when you watch this movie, you'll be like, oh my god. You know? But that's the other here on Blu-ray. Alright guys, next up is Mind Warp here on Blu-ray. This is a post-apocalyptic film that came out back in uh, 1993. And in this film, it, it uh, takes place the years like, what, 2023 in this film. And there's two worlds. There's in-world and out-world. In-world is where all the humans went uh, to be saved from the apocalypse. And in the in-world... These people are hooked up to machines and computers, and all they have, all they do, is dream and have you know nice dreams. And one day, one of these women that's hooked up to this machine is just like, "What is this? This is not how life is supposed to be." And goes against uh, the computer and, and the people that run in world, and gets banished to out world, which is Earth. And how it's become a desolate place where, like, demons and weird monster people, you know, mutated people are left. And she's trying to figure out how to get back to where she, she came from. But yet she bumps, she bumps against uh, this one guy that's helping her out on her journey to try to get back. And that guy is played by Bruce Campbell, who you guys all know from The Evil Dead. He, he's in this movie playing, uh, you know... Like her love interest in the film, kind of. And uh, in this film, it's pretty much her trying to figure out how she's going to get out of Outworld and back to where she is from. And it's just very, very well done. You also get Angus Scrim in there. And uh, it's just one of those films that feels like Mad Max a little bit. Just the way they, they, they show how the world's become and things like that. And some of the monster effects that they had in there was, was really, very well done. And uh, if you guys have never seen this movie, I definitely would check it out. It's a sci-fi horror flick. Some, some, good, some really good gore sequences in there. Um, I just really like the atmosphere of, the, of this film the most. You know what I mean? Of course, and of course, like the acting by uh, you know, Bruce Campbell is always over the top and good. But uh, definitely give this movie a watch, guys. If you guys love Bruce Campbell or Angus Graham and you want to complete your collections of their movies, definitely get this one at Twilight Time uh, or ScreenArchives.com is where you can pick this one up. Uh, next up right here from Millennium is uh, As I Lie Dying, uh, starring uh, James Franco, uh, Danny McBride, and uh, Tim Blake Nelson. And in this film, it's pretty much about this family that their mother just passed away, and her mother and their mother's last wish was to be buried uh, in her hometown where she grew up. So she passes away, and the, the film is pretty much them 
uh, putting their mother in a casket and transporting her to the small town where she grew up in to bury her. And their adventure, they go on the way. But this was also uh, like back back when there was no cars. The only way you can get around is by horseback and stuff like that. Um, it was it was kind of it was kind of enjoyable, but I got kind of taken out of the film. Um, in the film, they use a lot of split screen. Like you know how like you would watch like the TV show 24. They all have like screens over here, screens over there, like you know split screens as a lot of stuff was going on. And they used that to the, in this movie, and it didn't work for me. It kept taking me out of the story of what was going on. And uh, the acting is really well done by uh, the best act. The best, I would say the best actor in here is by uh, Tim Blake Nelson. He did a very good job in this film. It's all it was written and directed by James Franco. Um, if you're a fan of him, definitely give this one a watch. But it's just not one of his best, you know. But that's uh, as I lie dying. And uh, next up here from Inception is D Dancing Ninja. Starring Lucas Gabriel and uh, David Hasselhoff. Uh, this movie is pretty much just like uh, Beverly Hills Ninja starring Chris Farley, but uh, done on a little bit of a smaller scale. About this one kid, he, when he's a baby, he's on this boat. His, this boat sort of like, you know, knocks the baby off the boat and he sets a drift to Hong Kong. And uh, he gets raised by these people that, you know, these people that live in Hong Kong. And uh, he wants to become a ninja master, but. He's just not very good at it, but then there's this legend of the dancing ninja that's on this one scroll that this one uh, uh, Sifu has, and he sees the same marking that's on that scroll on this kid's leg, and he's like, oh my god, he got me the dancing ninja! <laughs> you know? And then he, you know, slowly the kid finds out that he has these, uh, this ability to be a, a great ninja warrior by dancing, and he kind of finds, he kind of finds out that he has this power by playing like Dance Dance Revolution kind of a game and what gives him the power to fight his best is like the touch and the feel of a woman so every time he would like look at a girl's legs he would like <laughs> you know like, like get all the superpower and things and uh, David Hasselhoff plays like the evil the evil bad guy that he has to defeat in the film um, it was actually kind of enjoyable there's like it had really high points when it started, kind of had some lulls in the middle of the film, but then it, it picked up towards the end. It was really, it it had a lot of mo good moments in here, a lot of like um, really fun fight scenes, a couple of musical sequences where like David Hasselhoff b burst out into songs, it's like you know like it was like I am here to play and fight, you know like he burst out into song in this movie, and so does the kid like. I love this girl, she is the only one for me. You know, like, not exactly that, but it was, you know, it was, you get you get martial arts action, you get musical sequences in here, and you get David Hasselhoff singing and dancing. Do I need to say anything else? <laughs> uh, next up from Anchor Bay is Nothing Left to Fear here on Blu-ray DVD Combo Pack. Um, it's about these about this family moving to this small town uh, to start their new life together and because the father of this family just got a job uh, b to be the new preacher of this church in this town and as, uh, as soon as they move to this town they start seeing things and like you know it's, it's like one of those haunted house kind of a films you know what I mean like creepy things are happening or is someone getting possessed by a demon what was that shadow over there you know kind of a movie um, it was really kind of creepy but it wasn't the best uh, horror film I've seen I would say the last like 10-15 minutes of the movie was the best part of the, of the whole thing the rest of it was just kind of like <laughs> like the acting and the writing is just kind of like okay you know could you like speed it up a little bit but the last half really picks up it really feels like a you know like the new Carrie movie towards the end where like um, you know Carrie's like going down the street and shit like that it, it's kind of like that because the demons like chasing people and things like that. It was actually really, it was really cool. I was just one of those movies you're watching it going, why is Anne Heche in this movie? You know, she can do way better than this. But uh, it wasn't, it wasn't completely bad. It was totally enjoyable. Um, I just don't know if I can recommend a purchase on this one, guys. Picture quality is pretty good, but if you guys like demon possession kind of movies with uh, cheesy writing and cheesy acting, check this one out. <laughs> Alright guys, last up for the update today is The Mysterious Holiday here on DVD, starring Brooke Shields, Sean Astin, Drake Bell, and Matthew Lillard. And uh, that was the reason I wanted to check it out, because I really like Sean Astin. Uh, it's, a, it's an animated short film, it's about like 45 minutes long, about this young boy named Andy. He's a scientist, but he can't, he, every time he creates something, he always seems to mess it up or blow things up. 
And uh, his school's having this science contest, science fair contest, and he wants to enter it. But yet, every time he does something, it explodes on him, and he's always kind of getting picked on. And his dad's like, come on, join the football team, son. Do something better with yourself. And uh, one day, he's just uh, wandering around the town, kind of like down on himself, until he sees this one castle, and he sees Frankenstein's monster in there, becomes friends with him, and uh, tries to create something really cool for his uh, the science fair. Um, it was a, it was a, it's a cool little um, uh, animated short thing here. It wasn't like a, a mind blowing or anything. The animation style of it kind of has that vibe of like Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius that came out back in early two thousands. Uh, definitely check it out for your you know f family and f kids and stuff like that. It's, it, it is worth watching. It's just not mind blowing or anything. But that's the Mysterious Holiday on DVD. Alright guys, that's all I have to show you guys today for this Blu-ray DVD update video today. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you guys like my videos. Definitely give give this video a comment saying, Hey, I want to see your mom in more of these review videos. I think she's cool. If, if this video gets like a lot of thumbs up, we'll, we'll know that you guys want to see my mom in more of these ones. See you guys all next time. Bye-bye.